A contrast between these two clubs. Chelsea starting fourth from the top of the first division and West Ham four from the bottom. Yet the overriding feeling is that rarely is there a bad match when these two clubs meet. Close to Christmas, a bad day for crowds, 42,000 and referee Dennis Pugh of Chester to get us going. And Deer with his head, this time nicely for Lindsay, and what a good ball from Lindsay, played first time for Eris. Now can Eris take on Harris, he can and beat him. And Hausman, oh and Harris getting in very hard there, and he sent Oscar away, and he's onside all right. Osgood, that must be it, Peter Osgood. A really decisive break there. After Harris had gone in hard on Eris, found Osgood, who really tore the West Ham defence what was left of it apart. A fine goal then by Osgood, and one he badly needed. He'd scored only two in the league so far this season, four altogether, and now he makes it five. There's Jeff Hurst on the left, and on the right of that picture, Ian Hutchinson, two of the bravest strikers in the game, both out with injury. Bobby Moore then at the near post, they got Lampard at the far post, and they got Ferguson in between them, and by the way Chelsea are winning the ball in the air, they might need them. Cook with a corner. And this time Eustace getting it away, Osgood! Oh, it's there by Osgood number two! Just over that West Ham line, with 22 minutes gone. And Chelsea was delighted. So although West Ham have looked so vulnerable in the air, that goal came from the ground, as indeed the first one did. Well, now his form really has come back, Osgood, and he'll be well delighted. Now Eris. Greaves playing it off for Brooking. Brooking forward now for Deer. Can Deer turn it in? Good work by Bonetti. My goodness, dear, how was given a tremendous amount of room there by that Chelsea defence. Taylor's gone up for West Ham. That's virtually the angle that Bonetti would uh, see. Eris with the corner. Eustace looking for it with his head. Lampard to blast it through. And a goal by Frank Lampard, leaving Bonetti completely unsighted. But one that puts West Ham back in it. was a turn up because West Ham really hadn't looked very much coming forward compared with Chelsea with all their aggression but Lampard really belting that one through a crowded penalty area giving Benetti no chance and Hinton to Cook Hinton again turned high towards Baldwin but Moore winning it and Weller oh against the post well West Ham really in luck there getting there a fraction before Ares Weller for Chelsea and Osgood against the bar and what a magnificent move there and a fine header by Osgood lovely little cross though by Weller too Brooking a slack pass there straight for Weller Brooking trying to make amends and Weller's hard to shake off and still Weller going on, beautiful piece of play, and it's Hollins right in there, with a header that's just passed. Again, one of those so deceptive bursts by John Hollins. Best getting up well in the air, Webb to get it away. Hollins there and taking a little too much time. And Brooking, can he get a shot in? A deflection there, and a goal! Yes, no, disallowed, disallowed. What for, says Brian Deere, and that's something we shall have to look at later in the programme. But it was disallowed, a West Ham fan is on the field, but the referee has disallowed it. Jimmy Greaves looks sick about it. Osgood, dummying Taylor. And taking it onto his right foot and dummying him again, that's twice he's done it. And trying once more, but Taylor staying cool, getting in the way of Bobby Moore. Well, I suppose it will come out of the ruck eventually. And it does to Osgood. Is this the hat-trick? It's in the goal. No, it's disallowed. 
The whistle had gone for a free kick, ironically enough, to Chelsea. Osgood, I suppose, a little upset that the referee didn't allow the game to go on and uh, so allow him to achieve his hat-trick. But the free kick is for Chelsea.